So the kids have had this bug for a couple of weeks? Yes. And what did your GP say? Haven't seen him. Any particular reason why not? Better get you sorted then, eh? What are you doing? Giving them antibiotics. Hey, when are we going to catch up? You can't give them ward stock. Just write them a script. Ellie, this protocol bug you picked up, it needs treatment. I've prescribed a pull and bear knot. <laughs> It'll cost 20 bucks max, less with a community services card. Yeah, I don't trust Dad. If we don't hand him the drugs, his kids are going to end up back here as patients. You're not Robin Hood, okay? Sorry. Uh, is there a problem? Uh, all good, thanks. Uh, we make it a rule not to hand out free drugs. We can't afford it. And we're trying to get people to see their own GPs or sign up with the PCC down the hall. Instead of them thinking we're a place where we can just come in, get assessed, treated and referred. Something like that, yes. <laughs> Patience, eh? Can't live with them, can't work 80 hour weeks without them. <laughs> but now I'm more of an indie man, you know, shins, postal service. I know. I borrowed your iPod, remember? Ah. I remember. You better send me back to school. Yes. Tess Adamson. Uh, as far as I know, he should be with you at school. I'll have to track him down. All right. Thanks for letting me know. Nate dodging school, huh? I was hoping he felt more sorted, but... Do you want me to talk to him again? Would you? I know he trusts you, and so do I. I'll see what I can do. Thanks. See ya. Bye. According to the coroner, both victims had medical procedures performed on them. I see. In lay terms, can you explain what intubation entails? A tube is slid down into the trachea. Uh, we can then ensure the patient gets enough oxygen and even breathe for them. Mm. How hard is it to put this tube in? Not just like anything. Practice helps. Mm. The trick is not to put the tube into the esophagus and end up pumping air into the stomach. And the tube itself, hard to come by? Uh, not really. Every ward has many. I see. Slightly trickier to steal the device used to insert the tube, though. It's called a laryngoscope. Do you keep tabs on these devices? Oh, absolutely. Every area has a recess trolley, and each trolley is checked every few days or restocked after use. I'd like you to do an audit. You may have one of these things missing, and I'd like to know where it was taken from. I'll get it started right away. Okay. Libby? I hope you finished questioning Mark Weston. We need him back. At this stage of our investigation, he's still helping us with our inquiries. You can't seriously suspect him. He's a doctor, for goodness sake. More medical doctors are serial killers than just about any other profession. Really? Well, that doesn't surprise me. Well, it doesn't. Especially Mark. He's lied about everything else in his life. If we could get on with the audit... Of course. But I stand by what I said about Mark. Time will tell. What's the story with you and the new doctor? You know him from before, right? Yeah, while well, I was training. And? And nothing. Come on, I can tell there's something. There isn't, honestly. We used to hang out way back when. He's rather attractive. Did you and he ever... Nearly, once. You wanted to? I thought, you know, maybe, but... He went with someone else, so... Whatever. He broke your heart. He said not. Oh, you're still not over him. Could you stop that, Shanti? For goodness sake. We liked each other once, but he hasn't changed and I'm a different person, so... Don't worry, he's only here for a short while. I couldn't care less. Honestly, Shanti, you're really winding me up. And, hello, I'm with Craig now. It's both terrible and wonderful when they get under your skin. <sighs> Good on you, mate. Thanks. No bother. Hey, heads up. Did you uh, just consult with that patient? Yep, middle ear. Yep, I know it's a middle ear. I referred him to his GP. Well, I've saved him the trip, haven't I? Yes, I know his GP. He's an excellent doctor who I also know would prefer a continuity of care. It's one script. Yes, Done. but this is an ED. We don't have the resources to be treated as a free health system. There's a crazy idea. Free public health. Right up there with uh, public transport. Look, did you not hear me before? We have a PCC. We're doing our bit. Now, if you're worried about someone, send them down the hall to them. I really don't want a repeat of this. Non-urgent cases get referred. Is that clear? Absolutely. You have 
a lovely speaking voice. Very cheerful. You like making fun of me, don't you? Give me the pad, mate. I'll draw a picture, then we'll really have something to laugh about. <laughs> how come you're so happy? You know, how come nothing ever seems to get you down? Are you kidding? Man, I get totally down. You remember that time I had that safe sex campaign or you beating me up? Yeah, but five minutes later, you're bouncing around. Well, I guess I just think about the good stuff rather than the bad stuff. Like my mum. She's always happy. <laughs> not always. I mean, um, you know, not everyone's happy all the time. Not unless you're nuts or on drugs. Well, what about the people that are never happy? Is that what it's like for you? I think it must be like my dad. I'm depressed. Why? I mean, some stuff sucks, and then other stuff rocks, you know? It all sucks to me. What are we going to do with you? Hey, why don't we uh, Google depression? I did already. And? And it said to go for a walk every day, regular. Did it help? I don't know. It's too depressed to bother. It's OK. Hmm. Ah, uh, we'll sort something out. Oh, well, time to get back to the concentration camp. Come on. OK, this is what we're looking for, the ringoscope. Got it. We'll start here, then we'll do a count, walk by walk. Uh, what's this? Equipment orders. We'll have to wait. The patient's having a chest strain put in. OK, we'll start up an HDU then. Right up. The ringoscope? What do the cops want to know about that for? Search me. They must have think the murderer works here. Slowly the noose tightens. Not if they think Mark did it. He's not the type, man. Mm. I mean, he's newly married, he's got a kid on the way. He never gets angry. Yeah, well, not quite. What, you seen this bit of dummy? Yeah, with that girl that died, Meg. You kidding? No, for real, over at the bar. He had her by the throat and the boys, Lou. He was angry, real angry. Yeah. Okay, guys, that's enough. Mark doesn't need this. Have you told the police what you saw? Oh, I didn't think it was a big deal. Besides, Joey's right. He's not the type. You should still tell them. Why make it worse for Mark than it already is? What if this information helps nail the murderer? Go tell them immediately. Just going to dig Mark in a whole lot deeper. Hey, you something in okay? Yeah, fine, thanks. Yeah, they're a good team in AD. Yeah, I can see that. So you're looking forward to working in Oz? Yeah, I enjoy it over there. Melbourne's a great city. Oh. Any good flats in there? Yeah, but it's always tricky being a locum, you know? Not many people want to bother if you're only going to be around a little bit. You just after a room? Nothing fancy? Well, you know, something good enough I could bring a woman home if I get lucky. Oh, well, there's my place. Just be you and my girlfriend. Yeah? She'd be okay with a complete stranger moving in? Uh, you already know her, apparently. Alice, Alice Piper. You worked together way back or something. She's in ED too. Right. Yeah, Alice. Yeah, she's cool. Yeah, well, she's a bit toey about being in the house on her own, so it'd be good to have a bloke around. Well, that's great, then. We've got ourselves a deal. <laughs> Mark, what's with you and Tanya? They split up. All my fault. And the police wants the story there. Don't worry, I didn't kill anyone. Yeah, I know that, but why are they hassling you? Well, it might have something to do with the fact that I shagged Meg just before she was killed. Just after Tanya told everyone at my birthday party that she was having my baby, in fact. Did I not tell you it was all my fault? You stupid idiot, mate. How could you do that to Tanya? Easy. Too easy. Messed up, huh? So this is my new home. No, no, no. You come stay with us. Thanks, but I'll be right. Hey, don't worry about Jay. She's moving out soon. You think about it, okay? After you've talked with Tanya. I'd call her the broken glass if I thought you would listen. Well, I'm telling you, you need to go and talk to her. What's going on? Just go and see her now, okay? Hey, could you page the on-call stenographer, please? I thought your girl had a UTI. Yep. 
Oh, hi, Kip Denton and ED. I'm filling in for Craig Valentine. Look, I've got a girl here with a nasty UTI, and I'd really appreciate a renal ultrasound. Stop. Refer her to outpatients. Uh, back you if can? Oh, fantastic. Look, this girl will really appreciate it, I can tell you. Uh-huh. All right, no problem. Thanks. Call her back and cancel, then refer your girl to outpatients. No. Look, we have a budget, and this is both unnecessary and expensive. Sarah, this girl is going to get an ultrasound, and with luck, a diagnosis within a few hours, not a few months. She's suffered enough. It's just a UTI. Just? You know what I mean. Sarah, I'm sorry, but no, I won't cancel the ultrasound. Get out. We'll finish this tomorrow. Bye. Boy, you haven't changed. But you have. And I think we should get together and discuss it. Fortunately, I've got a home to go to. Ta-ta. Hey. How come you bailed on school again? I just couldn't hack it. I've just seen your mum. She's freaking out. Yeah, she's been texting and stuff. So why make her freak out more by not texting her back? Don't have the energy. <laughs> well, get the energy. I mean, she doesn't deserve to be treated like this, okay? Okay. Okay. So, what's so bad about school anyway? Not like it's hard. Well, not to you, maybe. But I've got four essays to finish. A science project I haven't even started. Look, if I help you out, will you go back to school? Why would you do that? So that when I die, there'll be a thousand virgins waiting for me in heaven? Sometimes I think you're weirder than I am. Have we got a deal or not? I guess. Sure. Cool. Now, uh, I'll suss out what needs doing. You call your mum and tell her we're hanging out doing homework. Okay? Okay. You're early, Lib. I didn't expect you till much later. <sighs> You've got a nerve. It's time to hear. I'd say it was no longer any of your business. Give me that key. Yvonne, please, can you just tell that I need to speak with you? No, I won't. But I'll tell you this. I have never met a man who's disgusted me more than you do. I don't care what kind of psychological problems that you've got. You have hurt the sweetest, gentlest girl whose only mistake was believing anything that you said. Mum, it's OK. Go. Go on, wait. Mum, can you just give us a minute? If I were a man, I would knock you down. Five minutes. TK told me to come and see you. Did he? Something wrong. You would care. Of course, I would. I do. I... I'm having an abortion. What did you expect? You can't. It's our baby. You gave up any right you had to me or this baby. Get out. Oh, turns. Do I have to call the police? Good timing. Hard day for Nurse Piper. And then some. What do you think, was that busy? Oh, well, a certain staff member upped the stress levels. Uh, don't tell me. Sarah. No, actually, it was the new... Uh, just chuck it anywhere, mate. First things first. Welcome. And cheers. Cheers. Huh? Hey there. Long time no see. Um, what's going on? Oh, well, you were worried about being in the house alone while I'm in Oz and keep near the room, so... Cool, eh? We can catch up on all the goss from our Dunedin days. <sighs> Neat. What recessions they find companies thriving in the current economic climate. The business led George Lee and off a kahu honingi.